what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i just want to make this quick video since we still don't have anything concrete to talk about regarding jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 we want to make this video talking about some of the expectations i feel we all should have going into this these expectations of course do not have to be yours these are honestly mine and i feel like many many of you will have these same expectations uh or maybe you might consider switching up some expectations by listening to this who knows but going into jeepers creepers reborn there's at least five things that i think we all should expect we know that jeepers creepers one is considered the best in the, in this series at this point we know that jeepers creepers 2 was like a dip in the quality in terms of character focus and character development given that we were dealing with a more larger broader group of people or larger group of people i'll just say and then jeepers creepers 3 completely off the rails compared to jeepers creepers 2 which kind of was damp dampened by the fact that they got a bigger budget so no we have to overexpose the creeper now we have to have him flying a lot more they got rid of the truck for that very reason, I believe, to honestly just have him fly a lot more in this one. And I think, honestly, at this stage in the game, there is a sense of urgency there since it was taking place on his last day. So I just want to say that about Jeepers Creepers 2 and probably why we didn't see his truck narratively anyway. He doesn't need to have that truck. He's got this urgency since it's his last day. But going into Jeepers Creepers 3, we know that we were originally going to get a film that jumped 23 years later picking up from where two left off we know that that's not the case but that is one of the things we should expect from jeepers creepers reborn so going over some of the expectations to start with we should expect a realistic creeper truck again now the reason i'm saying that is because they did not use the trucks that were used in the original three movies or the third movie in the first one i'll say anyway the people that own these trucks they were not going to allow these people to make their um collector items i'll say not necessarily collector items but their trucks <laughs> the trucks that they take care of and they manage themselves they're not going to let these people make their trucks look like the things that we've seen of this replica truck that they've put together for the four film and why it's not a perfect replica i've seen worse i've seen worse now the tires yes are a bit tiny but going back to my point the whole realistic truck thing we should expect this film to kind of not necessarily say that what happened in three didn't happen but don't have those flashy truck aspects to it anymore don't have those flashy truck aspects to it and i'm only saying that because of the fact that, that they didn't have the original trucks that's not to say that that is enough evidence that they won't pull that hokiness and that batmobile like truck stuff again but i just feel like the way they have been presenting things about this truck and but they did the same thing with three honestly they made it look like it was just going to be a truck i just feel like the fact that they did it, did a replica we should expect this film to have a more grounded realistic version of the truck like we did in the original film the second thing i feel like we all should expect are paper thin characters we know we have characters named chase and lane that are going to be our focus we know there's a character named sam who is still listed up on the imdb page the actor that portrays him is also still li listed there as well someone named gabriel i'm not really recalling his last name i did a video talking about him and provided some images of him on set with the director timo we know that we'll have chase and lane and a friend sam that'll be traveling to louisiana for the horror hound convention uh or how horror hound festival and this is where we'll meet those characters and there's obviously going to be some other characters factored in with them. We know we are expecting Lane to get taken. Chase will go hunting for his girlfriend. And then some other people who might have a beef or a bone to pick with the Creeper will be right along with Chase trying to help him get his girlfriend. Not only to help him get his girlfriend back, but because they have some personal vendetta against the Creeper for some things that he may have done to them or their, or their families 23 years prior. Now, the reason I'm saying expect them to be paper thin is because the movie most likely will have a group of characters that we're focusing on where they're all sharing the screen at one time for a lot of them for a lot of the movie and we won't really get to have that time to really hone in on who we should focus primarily on who we should grow attached to or who we should necessarily care about what happens to them or not whereas with the first film you know one or two characters a brother and sister dynamic I'm not saying Derry and Jen, Derry and Trish were the most well-developed characters to ever be written, but when you have it just related to two siblings and you're seeing these characters progress like that and seeing the things that they're going through in this brief dialogue that they share, but prior to the events that start with the Creeper unfold, we learn enough about them to at least find them interesting and find them to be characters. Okay, we we're having fun with you guys during this road trip and then all this terror happens and it's like oh no i don't i don't want anything bad to happen to these people i, I like them i like that they're a brother sister dynamic and this, this it's just the little things that we learn about them that 
I, f I feel like helped make them relatable. Whereas opposed to Jeepers Creepers 2, not so much because there's a bigger group of people all sharing the scene at once. And I feel like we're going to get the same thing from Jeepers Creepers 4. So the third thing we should expect is a new Creeper. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean, of course, that Jonathan Breck has been outwardly confirmed by the studio or anyone else particularly involved with the film through a press release that he's not back they could be throwing smoke over this to gas the or mass the surprise but yeah we should expect a new actor who hopefully lives up to what breck has brought to the table hopefully measures up in stature and hopefully the makeup will be on point if not better than what we had in the third part fourth thing we should expect of course a time jump 2024 we should finally expect 2024 to be the year that we are set in there's been so many things that we've seen from the film and the behind the scenes images and some of the YouTube videos that have come out on the official channel showing a prosthetic of the creeper with that cocoon stuff that we saw at the end of the second film. Why else would you have that unless he's going back into a cocoon for some type of bizarre flashback or he's reawakening and he's going on another killing spree, thus confirming that they are trying to take this into the year 2024. There's also a bloody Bannon Bantam's jacket shown in some behind the scenes images. We see voodoo dolls of dairy, other past victims. Again, doesn't necessarily say that they will be keeping the second film canon but you know band and bantams they weren't introduced till jeepers creepers 2 I'm just i'm just throwing that out there uh and then the, the fifth thing i think we should all expect is serviceable performances and what i mean is don't go into this movie expecting to get justin long s performances justin long was amazing in the first film he really I think the best moments with Justin Long in that original film was when he was in the Creeper's Lair, when he first stumbled upon it, and the, the sheer fear in his eyes with the score playing in the background in these long takes of him just going over all this stuff that we're all right along with him trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. And it's, it's just this terror in his eyes and the, the, the fear that you feel from him the minute he gets out of the lair the whole time he's with Trisha for the rest of the film you know that this man is scared and you feel that I don't think we should expect anything like that here don't expect any gripping performances expect them to be serviceable at best I'm just being honest don't expect this to be something groundbreaking but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me any movies news reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video